you guys have your own traveling studio. <laughs> yeah, we just got to have a good time with it. So as you can see, we're already laughing and having a good time. So welcome back. Hello, and everybody. We are where? Digital Dealer 21 in Vegas, and it's always just fun. So we have a very, very special guest. Uh, we've talked before. Last time, not on camera, but this time. So Kerry spoke to us last time and did an amazing job. But we had a great opportunity to talk to Chip. And Chip, it's really fun because probably a year ago when we did this, you maybe weren't the most liked guy in the car industry. And what a transformation you now have made everybody loves in a Chip. year. Everybody loves Chip. True car, everybody loves Chip. What, what a change. Absolutely. I mean, what, where is the change come? You were just taking over, and you and I had a conversation in the hall here last year, and what you told us was, was amazing. Where you were going with it, how you understood the dealer's sentiment, and where it needed to go, and how we could become really great partners and sell cars. And that's what it went down to, right? Well, thank you, John. Thank you, folks. Nice to be able to talk to your audience. And Carrie Wise is a tough act to follow, so I'll do my best. <laughs> we agree. It's a very tough, tough act to follow. So I'm thrilled to be at True Car. I've been here eight months now. Yeah. Wow. And, and Time uh, flies. Huh? It's got to be the biggest transformation I've seen in a business in eight months ever. Well, thank you. We're working hard to turn the company around, and we're doing that by uh, focusing on the things that will make True Car work better for car dealers. Uh -huh. uh, in the past, uh, we had a lot of sharp edges. We broke a lot of china, we ruffled a lot of feathers because we weren't really focused on what, it, what, what the dealer needed to win in our marketplace. Absolutely. And so we listened to the dealers when I first got to the company back early in the year. That's and, very true, he and did. Then, and then, yeah. and then uh, quickly made a bunch of changes which we incorporated into our dealer pledge mm -hmm. which we launched back in March. We just, we well, launched, right. we just launched a new update to the dealer pledge yesterday. So what we told like an now, amendment to the yes. Constitution. <laughs> amendment, yeah. yeah. So we told the industry... We're very good in a political year. That was very good, you two. Yeah. Very well done. You know, they talk about accountability, right? right? In the political world, there's not a whole lot, right? There but you go. At least in our world, we want to be accountable to you. Absolutely. Yeah, as dealers. So we, we made a very public we, statement we, of the changes. Yeah, we've and, seen a, a true uptake. There, there's, there's no difference. No, 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 I mean, with us, for sure. We've been a client of yours all along, and, and absolutely in the Texas Panhandle, it's been really good. And our clients love to just come in and say, hey, look, here's, here's my deal. Is that okay? I just, <laughs> I just want to buy a car. I don't want to go through all that other stuff. I, I get beat up and up at home. You know, can, I, can I just pay for it? Absolutely. So a straight deal. So a simple, elegant, transparent process like True Car is good for them. And we're trying to make it good for you by making sure that the information we provide enables you all still to succeed and make good money uh, in our marketplace. In anything that you're selling, you go back and you look at and what, what's a fair deal. A fair deal is never an actual e equal dollar amount to everybody. A fair deal is where both parties are happy. I mean, the dealer's got to make a little money. You want to make a good deal, but you want him to be there. You, you, you got this warranty. Warranty's not a lot of good if the guy's not there anymore or, or if he's not making any money and he can't hire quality people. You've got to find that balance. And, and I think that you guys help us find that balance. I think you help us find that fair and even amount that's, that's a good deal for both sides. That's and we, we, we appreciate that, and I we love truth. I mean, I, yeah, it's it's you like know. you know it's, it's like having a department store. The guy walks in and says, "Look, I'd like to buy that shirt." Great, cash registers over here. What's wrong with that? No, there's plenty of people that still love the haggle and waggle and all that. Great, we love them too. It's a lot of fun. It's a challenge. We're all about that. That is not a problem. Well, but you, not everybody. You clearly want to provide a convenient, transparent experience yeah. for your car buyers. And that's what we're trying to do to a true car, and that's why yeah, I really appreciate how you're embracing it. Uh, but Carrie, we, but even, even, even though cookies? we've made these changes in our first pledge and our update, could you hand we me those know, cookies? We know we have, <laughs> Hang on, we're dying for cookies. Swag! We, we know we have a lot of work to do. So we're continuing to listen to dealers. We're hiring 100 field service people this year. We call them client success managers. Well, the mar like, like and the market's to... changing. Yes. You know, look at us. We're, we're sitting here too in a podcast trying to talk about this to try and get it out to people. Yes. This wasn't here two or three years ago. No. We just want people to understand it. We want we want them to be able to find this information on their time frame. If you're watching this at night in your underwear, like we talk about, it's okay. I don't I don't mind. We live, we live, we live in a live real time world, right? Yeah. As long as you're watching. It. And, and if we've educated you, and if you have any questions, the one thing you'll find about Chip and his company, you, when he talks transparency, it is transparency. You can reach this man. He takes emails. He Absolutely. takes phone calls. That's what we love any, about him so much. Anybody can reach me at chip.perry at truecar.com. And my cell phone number is 404-277-1945. If anybody ever wants to reach out to me with any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions. That's pretty transparent. On what, on what we can do. 
to help you sell more cars right. and be successful in the marketplace. Show me another company that size where, where the main dog would, would give you a sale number. But you know what? That comes from a true belief in what you do, and you would welcome those calls because you're not hiding from anything. Every yeah. time I get a call like that, it's a chance to learn how we oh, can yeah. make it better for dealers. It's so no wonder you improve. We do the same I do thing. have a question. Yeah. Besides the you know, amendment to the covenant and everything like that. People are wondering, is it maybe the chocolate chips, you know, because there's, you know, chip in, in every bite of, of the car business, or was the covenant changed? Because these things are good, oh, let me man. tell you. Man, I didn't even know we were doing this, but, <laughs> but since we got these cookies, I might have one. There you go, there you go. Excellent Carrie, get in here. Guys. Oh, come on, Carrie Weiss. Wait, she's got to come in. Photo bomb. She's got to uh, come in, bomb. you remember her from last year. So we thank you guys so much. You know we love our relationship with you guys, and we truly believe we you that you guys bring some legitimacy to the car business, and that's one of the things that we really strive for in our dealerships. You know, when I first got in the business, and you were you were in it a long time ago too, and we're going to show a picture of one of the cars that you collect, you know, we were known to be just below a root canal. Somebody would just as soon have a root canal as go buy a car, and that's really sad because a car would be your second largest purchase next to a home, which is a good thing. And nowadays, cars are so amazing. All the things that they do, it should be fun. It should be something to look forward to. It should be something that you take your 16-year-old child with. This is going to be their first car. It, An it's experience. a street group. We really try and make that a big deal. The we take lots the, of pictures. The car itself is an exciting thing. Why not make the purchasing experience exciting yeah. and positive? That sounds like what you guys are all about. We, you know, we, we've got free coffee and cookies, and now we're going to have True Car cookies in, the, in our concierge service. We <laughs> have customers. Everybody. Yeah, we have customers that actually come by during the week and just get a cup of coffee. And you know what? I love it. I think it's great. No, um, you're not here today. Are you I getting service? The panhandle. Can I stop by and say what I'm in We would love to have you come into the store. And we would just have so much and fun with that. And we want to meet everybody. Can you tell us about yeah, your Yeah, tell beetle? us real quick. Yeah. So I'm, I happen to be a vintage Volkswagen enthusiast. And I've got a couple cars I want to show you. We want to see them. So what, one is a car I got a couple years ago. It's a 1946 Volkswagen. It was produced by the awesome. British when the Volkswagen factory fell into the British occupation zone right after World War II. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. And it's a very early car. It's got... It's and it has got, a name. Yeah, well, not this one. Oh. But uh, <laughs> it's got what's called a split window in the back. And the reason oh. why it's got a split window is that they were targeting a price of 995 Deutschmarks, mm -hmm. Reichsmarks actually, before World War II, which was like 350 bucks. So we, we have cars for that today. In order to make well, it that cheap, part, part of it, in order to make it that cheap, they had to use two straight pieces of glass in the rear instead of <laughs> curving, which cost oh. more. That's why the split window. That is amazing. And you knew all this, right? It's a pretty cool car. He has much more interesting cars than I have. Oh. But another one I want to talk about is my is a recent acquisition, a car I really love. It's called a 1953 Volkswagen Zwitter. Zwitter. God bless you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Zwitter means hybrid in German. Wow. And the reason why it's called a, a Zwitter hybrid is that between October 1952 and, and March of 1953, when they were transitioning between that split window and an oval window, they made this car in 1953. This is called a ragtop. Oh, which means wow. it's, got a, it's got a fold back, folding back, hand operated sunroof. You can see where it's open. That is so awesome. But, but what the, a beautiful but, but, car. But the, but the rear end of this car also has a split window. Uh -huh. But what makes it a Zwitter is that it has an oval dashboard and a okay. split From rear window. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So in, in April 1953, they began producing them with oval rear windows, and then they became ovals after that. So this yeah. is a unique car they only made for six That's months. like a six-month time. Window, is, yes. are, are the Germans back in charge of the plant? Yes. The back British in were running yeah. it in the first car. Yeah. This is back on By, by 1948, the Germans. the Germans were in charge. So are we Wolfsburg again at this We're, point? This is Wolfsburg. We're now uh, Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg. Okay. Uh, that you know, is just amazing. My window has, has a split window too, but I've been meaning to get that repaired, but I didn't <laughs> know it was <laughs> a that's classic. A, that's a piece of duct tape. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's yeah, not, okay. That's yeah, different. it didn't make it any classic. It's a nice split window. It's a cool thing. That is really neat. When you're driving it, you have to be looking out your rear view mirror. You got to be tilting your head this way, this way, <laughs> around the little post. If you drive like but, that, you got swag. But if, if you're at Dino's tonight, when we, when we put on the deal and, and you're singing the karaoke, you'll be making those same moves that Chip was there making doing your singing. So, so we're looking forward to. It. So, what song are you singing tonight, Karen? Well, what's no, your, I was invited to that karaoke party. What's your go-to really signature song? What's your go-to um, signature the, song? I will survive. I will. I love classes, that. I that could be a winner. That's the true car. That could be a winner. Is that not the true car anthem? Yeah. I will survive.
it was your anthem for the last eight months, wasn't it? As long as I have Chip, I know I'll survive. We're still working at it, John. And Chip, if there's one song, right out of the woods yet. If there's one song, what's your go-to song? You had to sing it to get off of a desert island. I can't wait for the dance. Well, my wife and I have this joke that it's about the only one I can sing. Uh-huh. It's a Hank Williams song called "Hey Good Looking." Hey, hey, hey. In Amarillo, hey, Texas, hey. that's that's our city. Hey, good looking. Why I got cooking? How about cooking something up for me? Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that's, that's something you don't get every day. Karaoke and chocolate chip cookies and the real chip. So now, now you guys know the truth. When you ask me these questions about Volkswagen that I have no clue, I think you now know my source. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chip knows more about Volkswagen. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> about karaoke. And about karaoke and singing. <laughs> Chip, thank you so much thank for you taking God. your time. Chip, you're a great sport. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. And you know, Karen, I need that recipe. We love you. We love your company. We love your employees. And you guys are just doing a great job. Great being with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll be back with somebody new.